All right. Good evening. Um, we're we're about to follow a clown to go see a monkey. So I'm sure this episode's gonna be filled with whimsy. Let's see. Uh, go with Mo. Ooh, look at those shiny instruments. Marching band. Who is is Acro the no money is the monkey's name. Who is Acro? Oh, that's the uncle or something. I don't know. Let me know if y'all know. Huff huff. No, Phoenix, don't huff. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only have to climb two flights of stairs. Oof. Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro. He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Eh, what's her? Well, she's a girl with the one girl voice tapping to assist. Eh, what's the big pile of junk over in the corner? I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money the monkey added to the fucking court record. Yes, please. I love that that means this is going to come up in court. Does every piece of evidence always get used? I feel like no, but he is definitely going to come up because why the fuck wouldn't he? Look at him. Ooh, I love him. Okay. Money so far. So far. He stole my attorney badge. That's fucked up. A monkey who takes care of Acro. He takes care of the person. Habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. All right. So we have to examine. There's a lot happening here, and I've got to find my badge. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny! There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this! It's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it! Your badge! It's right here. Return badge. Return to its rifle spot on lapel. Ooh, lapel. Okay, fucking money. Thanks, you're really safe. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this. Whoa, <laughs> that's a diamond ring, y'all. It's a ring! There's something engraved on it. From T to R. This is from... Trilo to Regina. Ring put in pocket. Ooh, in pocket. Phoenix! You little klepto. Period. You've been hanging out with Maya too long. Damn, fade to black, too. Well, oh no! Oh, you guys, it's time to go to the courtroom, and I am mentally ill-prepared for this case. I'm sure I have all the evidence, but I don't have the, like, timeline of events in my brain. Well, let's go defend Max. Do you think we'll win it? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> no. Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of test money will come out tomorrow. I know we'll win. It's a fucking video game. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Oh, no. My sister's... Oh, to be continued. What if I just cut the video here? Like, hey, guys, that was great time. Bye. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll save my progress. I'll save it on this one. All right, let's go back. Trial time, baby. Oh, Francisca's gonna be here. Oh, God. I have to do voices for more people. I'm so glad I just, in, in the first episode, resigned to the judge doesn't get a voice, like, a joy. Okay. Defendant's lobby, Max. Good morning, Max. I see. Max? M milk. What the fuck, Max? What? If I don't get to have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. S stage? Life's a stage, Maya, don't you understand? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All I have to do is sit down. I, I guess. Nick! Max is really nervous! That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties! What? Cards! <laughs> you don't think I should fly, do you? 
no, whatever you do, don't fly. That would be very incriminating if you started flying in the courtroom right now. Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. Very nights into dreams with the purple and the flying and the androgyny. No, 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 no. Max, look at me right now. Max, look me in the eye. Look at me with those fucking mascarid eyes. Max, no, okay? Do you, see, do you hear what I'm telling you? Do not do that, Max. No, no, no. 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 Sorry. I went on for too long. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. You know? Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says. Don't fly and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this, this time, Max? Cards. Oh, he didn't throw cards. Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I'm an attorney. I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really? No one needs to fly today. I'm putting my foot down. Oh, did I say that? I thought Maya said that. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Max, Max, wait a minute, Max, are you on? And my hair is already so aerodynamic with the whoosh. Looks like a, remember the, you don't remember, but uh, years ago, like 2011, Chilean, Hussein Chilean did a shoe with Puma, the Chilean Swift, and it had like Phoenix Wright hair on it. It also looked like Sonic the Hedgehog in a sense. Google it. I'll put I'll put one on the screen. Look, Chilean Swift. It looks like Phoenix Wright, right? Hopefully I put that up. <laughs> oh God, we're getting in the courtroom. He's gonna bang his gavel and be a little bitch, and Francisca's gonna be like, nye, nye, nye. I, my parents loved me too much, and I have a whip. Oh God. And the judge is gonna be like, yes, Mama, step on me, Phoenix. You're a bitch. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. What's happening? Whip, whip, what? You're on or get on with it. Yeah, we know what to see. We're already back in our dynamic. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob jo Oh, God, I forgot that was his name. I love uh, humble roots. We all changed our name to something better than what we had because we are from places <laughs> that we don't want to... Whatever, let's go. So... Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a bit huge fan of his. Yes. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. Period. It sounds more friendly. Just say it doesn't sound as cheap. Hmm. I wonder if that is to our advantage. I'm sure it is. Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm. That spirit channeling trial was a sham. It, oh boy, it was it. In the nicest way, it was a trial about... Oh, but then at the end of the day, nobody really got channeled. So I guess it wasn't a sham. Francisca, you're wrong. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. Okay, be in denial, bitch. Whatever makes you feel good. I really don't care about you personally, except for my growing distaste for you does make me almost care about you in the sense that I want to see you fail, but it's not going to reach that height because that's unhealthy and you don't want to prey on other people's... Whatever. I'm being a lot. It did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. She very clearly has stated that. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose it anything except for the last case. And you're only as good as your last performance, ma'am. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Basically. Nah. That's my sauce of tits again messaging me. Is your eye color some Bitch! My brother's got brown eyes, and my best friend of, like, many, many years, probably over a decade, is like, do y'all have the same color of eyes? My eyes are not, one, that dark, two, brown, period. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, gee, I'm screaming. Watch and... Mr. Phoenix, right? 
<laughs> my controller turned off? It better not be dead. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Mamma -ma mia. Mamma mia. Guilty. What are you- What are you talking about? It will be my- Oh god, I cannot hold on to a voice. It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring back her dad. Okay, Maya said that- No, she didn't say that. In two- In both cases now, somebody's been like, Hey, your dad's not coming back though, and that's kind of like a low blow. There, opening statement complete. Now let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. Bang, bang, sissies. End it up. Very well, you may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Classic, classic first witness. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there now! Daddy. I need to stop calling him. Okay. If I call him Daddy in one more video, shoot me. Like, just. No, sorry. Ooh. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking... I've been looking forward to... How does his voice go? Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. That's not his voice. All right, Detective, you may proceed with your testimony. All right, let's get this. The tales of the events. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. Okay. All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. You may see it glowing here, on the left side of the screen. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. That's not his voice! The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that s ooh, man, I don't like that, snapped a vertebrae in his neck. I see. He was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. The court accept... The court accept this into evidence. The judge is going, and he's going quick. Autopsy report added to the court record. A blunt object, hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I'm just, nothing really stood out, so I'm gonna press on everything. Sorry, y'all, if anybody, whatever. And I have the crimes, no one's falling down at 9.40 p.m. Was it, is that true? Let me ask you, I was gonna see if, mm, how much do you want to bet that, like, the snow falling until 940 is really important because the footsteps, there's no footsteps going back, and at some point they're going to be like, well, the snow stopped at a certain time, that would have been around the murder, so there would not there would still be steps because the snow wasn't still falling. Because, like, Phoenix is going to be like, how do you know the snow didn't cover up the footsteps? And like, well, because it stopped snowing at 940. It's like, what if he was murdered earlier than we once thought? Let me ask you about this. I just went on a tangent, sorry. So if you see a cut, that's why. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half while it was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. What is... Oh, I wish I knew his voice. It's really upsetting me, you guys. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow... Let me see, there's got to be more to this. Eh? What's the matter? Nick! I need to take a look at the, co look at the court report. Court record. Okay. It wasn't snowing when we found him. That's our map. And he died at 10.15 due to blunt trauma. Why, what do I need to find? Phoenix. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? See, Phoenix seems like he, like, really... Oh, fuck. What am I missing, Phoenix? I'm just gonna listen to everything he has to say. All the circus performers were getting on the big top. Hold it, bitch. No, not bitch. I'm sorry, Gumshoe. I'm sorry. In return, 
just to be fair, just to be equal, you can call me bitch, okay, bitch? Oh, I said it twice, ooh. When you say all the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Regina the animal tamer, Mo the clown, Vin the ventriloquist, and of course the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Oh, that was his fake wristwatch that we found? Oh, gumshoe. Have some class. No, he, he, they keep cutting his pay. He can't afford anything else. Except for, like, do you need a wristwatch gumshoe? Like, buy yourself a nice meal. Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. Okay. The practice session broke around 10 p.m. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with the Regent while Mo went back to his room, tired from work. Ben the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. The ringmaster and Max went off to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Mask... Max was asking for Regina's... Regina's hand in marriage. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the area. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. Uh, um, okay, not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us the whole thing went, how, how the whole thing went down. Ow! This is, this is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm. All right, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Why does she get to call the shots? Like, first of all, I'm not upset, because Gumshoe, no offense, I didn't find any issue with what you said. But I don't, by pr like, principle, I don't like that she's getting her way. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? He got bonked. The victim was found. The victim was found bent over. Of, the victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Perez. Oh, he already said that. A wooden box. That's right. Is that wood? It doesn't look like wood to me, but what do I know? I, I'm sure that's not important. I'm sure I'm just being annoying. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Oh, well, we gotta know what's in there, buddy. Locked, you say? Wooden box added to the court record. The victim was hunched over his 20... Oh, that is definitely wood. 20-pound box. It boasts a small but strong lock. It's wood. How hard can it be to get into if we need to? I guess nobody's tried to get into it. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. About the contents. I want to know about the contents. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. What is that? Bottle? What is that, detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? Also, what condiment bottle looks like that? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? Is it somebody's ashes instead of pepper? That'd be iconic. No, we had ashes in the last trial. I'm tired of cremated ashes. Cremation remains. There's only a, one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if that, I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Small seasoning bottle added to the quarry. Found inside one box, it was, it contains pepper. This is weird. Oh, it, that kind of does look like a condiment bottle if you buy, like, McCormick. They got red lids. The cause of death was blown first on the snow. Oh, I don't like that part of the testi testification. The testimony. Jesus Christ, yeah. According to the autopsy, according to the autopsy report, the more, the mer, my brain don't work. Let me slow down. Let me stretch my legs out and relax. Because I'm like over here like, oh my god, is the video good? Oh my god, am I being annoying? Which the answer would be 
that second question is a resounding yes. But like, shut up, calm down. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made it disappear with magic. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I think we have a good feel for the event, the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're going to get out of Gumshoe in this case. Oh, really? Is he already gone? You mean all we're going to get out of him is that little bottle? You mean all we're going to get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped it up with the detective, I'd like to call my next... Ooh, is it going to be the clown? What's his name? Mo Curls? Bring out Curls. Eh, I'm not even off the stand yet. That's not his voice. Why does everybody end up with like a southern twang at some point with me? It's such a problem. Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy who likes bareback. Oh my god, stop, Sia. Okay, sorry guys. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benj- Ooh, Benny! Mr. Benjamin Woodman to- Now, Benjamin, I've defended you this whole time. Now you work for me in this moment, please. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trilo will show up on the stand as well. I hope so. He's got some spunk. Yes, pop, pop. Get his ass. Get his ass. I'm sorry. No, don't. I love Ben. But like, it's kind of iconic, that dynamic that they share. Please state your name and occupation for the record. My full name is Triloquist. I am employed as an operatic tenor. Excuse me? The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That rope must be cutting off your circulation! I said I was a singer! Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. Don't get hyped. Ahem. <clears throat> me, 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 me! The world of the law! Exciting and daring. Guilt or innocence. Decided by a judge dressed up like a woman! Well, what do you think? You just dragged the judge for being in drag, sis. Also, he's not dressed like... Oh, I guess he's got like a robe, like a gown. But he doesn't have like the powdered wig. It had a good rhythm. It's just... It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Trilo, you know better... Pop, pop! Then <laughs> the judge. I'm sorry, I go pop, pop. Pop, pop, look at him go. Bam, bam! Oh my god, bleh. Bop, bop. Okay, sorry. Shut up! Just look at your no Oh my- Leave him alone! Okay, try low. I love this dynamic from a, like, standpoint of, like, entertainment, but, like, as somebody who also loves Ben... Hmm. Like, this upsets me at the same time, and try low's so cute. Shut up! Just look at your nose! You would think you'd have the sense to fix it! It's so ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the off chance swelling would help! You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star! Celebrity- Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds! What's going on here? Order! Order! I demand to know who the fuck this witness is! Don't. Don't worry about me, sir. I'll- I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting to- oh, OW! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now, let's proceed! Oh, here we go. What you witnessed? Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean clown. Once we got into the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. Alright. Ooh, with the roses? This is a look. This is a look. That's when I s Ooh. Are you sure it was Max? Looks like he's on from back. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way! How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading toward the scene? You sure of that? Without a doubt! He had his silk hat! 
cloak and the dumb white roses on his chest. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? That That's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy! Well, since you weren't with them, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. Why is that? Here's absolute proof. Clowns don't wear hats. It would never fit over their clown wigs. A silk hat? This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Hmm. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. No offense, why would somebody wear their signature hat during a murder? Especially if it's like a premeditated one, whatever. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecute. Whoa, a prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate it. Oh, like, I don't want to just reiterate my hatred for the fucking thing she does again and again in every case, so I'm going to avoid it. But I fucking hate the thing she does. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Oh, okay. I guess she's the boss again today. Girl boss. We got girl boss central. Girl boss mama. Girl boss with a whip. Oh, I'm going to cross examine the puppet. Great. We got a puppet, a girl boss, and a an fucking attorney. Once practice was over, I left the tent with- Oh, I'm just- same shit. Press, please. The clown. You're talking about Mo? Of course I'm talking about that old fart! He's so pathetic I can't stand him! Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place! Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of the way to keeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Hmm. Then what happened? Once we got a London house, I dished him in my entrance. Hold it. Why the plaza's entrance? To do some thinking, of course! It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice, warm lodging house have been a better idea? <laughs> what, bitch? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the- He's a puppet, ma'am. How low do you think of me? But I'm a good thunker. At least my teachers always said I was. That's when I saw Max Hendor in the crime press. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure! How could you mistake someone wearing a snobby three-piece get-up? Snobby three-piece get-up? Get the wax out of your ears! Lawyers nowadays, you're just like someone on a brick wall! Max's three-piece get-up! Jeez! Could you be any more dense all together now? Silk hat, cloak, white roses! Thank you! Nick, I think you should put a little more effort into preparing your questions. That puppet just fucking embarrassed you, and now the audience is on his side. He got them chanting like it's a fucking episode of Family Feud. What the fuck? He was the only one heading away. Hold it. Hold it. You saw Max and only Max, right, Trillo? 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 That's right, and makes it, and that makes him the killer. There was only one person headed that way that night. Hmm. That makes quite a bit of sense, and makes Max one suspicious character. He's been a sus character in many ways since the beginning. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Is there something I'm missing this? Shh. Yeah, there's no proof it's, it was Max. Like, Wait a second. I should shout that probably. Wait a second. There's no proof that the witness saw Maximilian Galactica. Hey, hey, you still don't get it, do ya? I saw what I saw. It was Max's three-piece joke of a costume. Okay, you saw his costume, which definitely heavily implies that you saw Max, but it doesn't prove that you did in fact see Max. Implications are not 
evidence question mark lawyer can a judge can get away with that like okay judge is nodding yeah implications aren't evidence do, do, do. all right let's say oh god let's say it together now sail cat cloak white roses thank you i fucked up i think you should study up on your celebrities mr wright yeah i should graham getting shut down i'm a fucking attorney i'm getting shut down by a toy I didn't lose any health for that. This game's being too nice to me. Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. Please. Around what time? Oh, should I have gone back to that one thing, pressed it again, and hit the right thing? Yikes. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hmm, I suppose that would have been around... Hey, what time was it? Pop, pop, pop. Huh? Um, I think it's around... I, pop, pop. It's a bit after 10.30 p.m. That's a lot of time. I think. Practice ended at 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging... <clears throat> Practice ended around 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? Uh, I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, um, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big-nosed dope? Why are you telling them anything extra? Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in the weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone? What? what, what? Who said we were waiting for someone? Francisco, I'm going karma, you bitch. Why don't you shut your fucking whore mouth? Mr. Fe I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Miss, I'm not angry. Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can all do without your offhanded theories. Oh, I can object too, you skinny lily-livered hoe but this witness he's cracking under the pressure already I'm on to something hmm, Mr. Wright who do you suppose the witness was waiting for <laughs> what if I just said fucking can't yeah, wait he's waiting for money fucking wait, let's real quick look at him look at this monkey oh we love okay who is he waiting for were you waiting for oh he's waiting for chica he's in love with her duh well if he was waiting outside in the cold it was for one person the only person worth braving oh i could lose health on this but i i, I know i got it right <clears throat> and one person only he was waiting for the animal tamer wow oh my god <laughs> and we lost a great puppet that day you were waiting outside for Regina to come Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Hmm. Is this true? Well, I you can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. This is the same voice as the clown, is it not? I don't know. Just don't get them mixed up, you guys. This is on you. Well, well, well. My lim The s limit of my skills is your burden. I hate to tell you. Well, well, the puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. <sighs> it seems that at this... Oh. No, no, no. Don't let him go. I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. Judge. And there are clearly no contradic... There are clearly no conclusive contradictions. The alliteration. Clearly no conclusive contradictions. Love that. He's right, Phoenix, he's not right. A brilliant judgment, your honor. Now, let's move along with the testimony. Hmm, Trella wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh... Yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. Maya. I don't. Everybody's saying clonk this, bonk that, clunk, dunk, wonk. I don't know, twunk. Sorry, no, moving forward. <laughs> Once practice was on my lament when the student, I mean the clown. Okay, I gotta press on that one again. Once we gotta do lodging. Nah, nah, nah. This one is on Max and don't have seen the game. Press. Yes, because this is when I gave me the options and I got it wrong, and the judge was like, fuck you, Phoenix, right? And I was like, I'm sorry, Danny. Are you sure it's really Max Galactica? Do, do, do. Get me back to the decision. All right. 
He was the only one. Who would... Oh, I hit the wrong one. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. There's more to the story than Misty Eyes. There's something missing this. I last time said there's no proof of this, Max. If I no problems means like fuck me, right? I can't stand in my own fucking convictions. No. Ben only saw Max? Question mark. That's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? What are you going for with this, Mr. Wright? Who else do you suppose this mm, great witness could have seen? Um, who do I know for sure would have been out that night? Oh, the clown! I don't know, because the clown was an eyewitness, but I don't know if these are at separate time frames. I, I don't think... No. I'm going to present... Regina, in the game better not scam me again. I can lose health on this one. Ooh, present. Take that, you fucking puppet. Hmm. Don't you hold your tongue, Ben. It's your job to answer all the stupid questions. I'm sorry, Trilo. I've got to find a way to get more information out of this witness. Ooh, that's not right. Are you kidding me? I wasn't that sure of it to begin with. I don't know why I'm so shook by this. <sighs> Let me go through all this again. Wee, 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 wee. All the way home. All the way to the fucking end of the statement. Boom, 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 boom. You heard you saw Max. He was the only one in that way. How could the punch? Was I supposed to press on this one? No. Press. And then. Do, do, do. You only saw Max. Beep, 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 beep. Pinless on Max. It's strange. Da -da -da. Who else could he have seen? Russell. He could have seen Russell. Because Russell was doing the rounds. Present Russell. That's the victim. That's correct. If Trello was at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness. Could have seen him. Anyone with a sense, anyone with sense, could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. If Maximilian Galactico was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room, why was he, just as the witness stated, at the scene of the crime? What? I see. All right. There is obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, bang hands. I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Wah! I love that he explodes. Like, ugh, the design for him is so cute, and then his animation, like, makes me wish I was dead, but, like, in a good way. Like, yeah, we love it. Love it to death. What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. Objection. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there's a high likelihood that... Bang hands. He could have missed someone else other than... Ooh! She cuts me off with that whip every time. There's absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal trainer. Um. Um. I guess you got me. All right, all right! I'll spill the beans for real this time. It's true, I was waiting for Regina. Pain. Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Were you or were you not waiting for Regina? Regina. The Regina thing, I meant to just do it like just Maya's gonna call her Regina. Like Regina, because she's like Maya's kind of like aloof and dumb in my head. But like now I just can't stop mixing up the two. 
Why were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance of the lodging house? I was! I was waiting to propose to her! You were what? Waiting to propose? What's the matter? You think humans have a monopoly on marriage? That... The matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. You're the judge! I mean, look at your horrible outfit! More pain. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. That's not very Von Karma of you. Now, we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. About the proposal. Alright. Don't be so surprised that I was going to pro propose to Regina. I even had something to give to her. That ring. Oh my god, do I still have that ring? I did put it in my pocket. Yep, there it is. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose. And the monkey took it. Give it to her. Of course. I, <clears throat> I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it. Mm. Do you, good sir? So I'm just going to present the ring on that statement. I'm not even going to be pressing. You were going to propose propose you a puppet don't be so obtuse just because i'm a puppet doesn't mean i can't love i guess you're right just because you got a man's fucking hand up your ass doesn't mean you can't love somebody and that you guys is hashtag love wins just because i'm old doesn't mean i can't couldn't propose to her to judge exactly his honor is looking a little less than honorable right now Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your cross-examination. Holy shit, it's been 45 minutes. Weird time to cut this off, but uh, my throat hurts. And this video's long. So we'll continue with the cross-exam- Oh, actually, no. Nope, nope, nope. I am going to present that evidence right now because I'm really excited. Because I know, I feel like I know exactly what to do. What was with that sigh at the end? Okay. About the proposal. The last statement, and then I want to- give him the ring. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for a chance to return. Of course, I had it in my pocket that night. It was also a prisoner. In the end, so I've still got my pocket. Then what do you call this? Oh my god, look at him! Ooh! Okay, give him the ring. Sir, if it is in your pocket, then what the fuck is this? Your honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Okay, judge, if I'm about to lose fucking health for this, I'm gonna be angry. Maybe, it, like, there's no big point here, but I am correct that that contradicts this evidence. It does. I don't see anything. Con is it in his pocket or is it in my hand? Huh? Really? Objection denied. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. <sighs> Look, I get that I didn't have a point, but my contradiction wasn't wrong. I could have gone somewhere with that. This game's got, let me, got, has let me get has allowed me yeah let's say that has allowed me to get away with less before oh, whoops that didn't go so well okay in the end it doesn't even matter okay well we're gonna cross examine this puppet in the next video so be around for that and okay bye